Let's create a sports jersey mock-up with the help of AI. So I think mock-ups are a great application of artificial intelligence, but I would recommend looking online for any mock-ups or free templates you can find before you go down this route. I just typed in jersey mock-up to Adobe's free stock collection, found this pretty simple soccer jersey mock-up. But sometimes looking online doesn't have exactly what you're looking for. So let's go to Adobe Firefly, which is Adobe's AI platform. And let's just type in something like blank white basketball jersey mock-up, and then a few descriptors like studio lighting, product shot, white background, and you'll see what it puts out. Now, not all of these are gonna be immediately usable. We're gonna have to do some tweaking in Photoshop, but generally if your description is good, if you also specify the lighting to be studio lighting, you should be less with a pretty good result. So I did a few of these, kind of fine tuned the prompt as I went. And I found this very solid white tank top basketball jersey on a black mannequin. It's got this orange lining on it, but that's not gonna matter. We can fix that in Photoshop. Now let's bring this image into Photoshop and start creating our mock-up. I'm gonna start by addressing this orange line trim on the jersey. It's interesting because I, I kind of like the texture that it's creating on this trim. So I don't wanna remove it completely and make it match this fabric although you could do that if we just duplicate this background layer to make it editable. And if you go to this remove tool on your tools panel, it's using AI to remove parts of the image and then fill it with the surrounding area. So you could go through this approach if you didn't wanna keep any of this texture and you just wanted it kind of this flat white fabric, the same as the rest of the shirt, but I like what it's doing. So I'm just gonna make the orange go away. I'm just gonna make it black and white. So let's drop a black and white filter on top of everything. And there, it makes it grayscale. You can still see the trim is like different than the rest of the jersey. So in this example, I've brought in the jersey of the Minnesota Windchill Pro Ultimate Team. This is their away kit. And I'm basically gonna adapt this into a basketball jersey for this example. And I'll grab some elements directly from from this jersey, but like any mock-up, I mean, you could just like type out a, a number or drag in logos and really create it the way you want to. We'll be using this as a reference image and also we'll be grabbing assets from it as well. So first to set up our front of jersey and back of jersey, I'm going to make a quick selection around each of these. I'm gonna hit W for my quick selection tool. I'm just gonna click and drag out all over this white jersey to make the selection. And we can be kind of rough with our selection. We can fine tune it later, but let's make a folder and we still have the selection going. So I'm gonna drop a mask on this folder. So now anything we drop in this folder, it's only gonna affect this jersey, the masked out portion. So if I make a new layer, and just go to my fill tool, fill it with whatever foreground color I have, and we'll drop this black and white layer below it. We've got the yellow just affecting this jersey. You can then switch the blend mode to multiply, and now we've got a yellow jersey instead of the white that we started with. So because we're making this wind chill themed, I'm gonna use this blue. Let's just eyedropper it, going to B for my brush tool, holding option, and then clicking in this blue and I'm gonna paint on blue trim on the collar and both sleeves. So let's make a new layer. I'm gonna delete the yellow example layer. And with a brush, we can make it pretty hard and that size should be good. Let's just go and brush on the trim lines. And you'll see, you can't really draw outside the lines because of the mask that we put on this folder. So you don't have to be super precise with this because obviously a mock-up is just to kind of give you the idea of something. And now we've lost all the texture that's below it. So I'm just gonna switch this blend mode on our brush layer to multiply. And now all of a sudden we can see that same texture that used to have that orange line that we got rid of. Remember we just made it black and white. So now we've got this realistic trim and then the rest of the jersey. We can do the same process for the back of the jersey as well. So let's go back to our image layer and with the quick selection tool, W is the shortcut, we can draw out our selection. And if you hold option with the quick selection tool, you can take away parts of the selection. So let's make a new folder and click our mask icon. This one we'll call back of jersey. This one we'll call front of jersey. And with the back of the jersey, let's do the same 
blue trim with our brush. So same process, just brushing it on. There's our blue trim, switch the blend mode to multiply. And again, we have that underlying texture. The next thing we're gonna grab from the jersey is the number. So I also have this back of jersey from another image. I just grabbed these from the BE Ultimate store. So I'm just taking my rectangular marquee tool. Let's draw a box around this number. I'm just taking a bigger one compared to the front just because it's better resolution. It'll look better on the jersey. And I'm just gonna hit Command J, which duplicates the layer within the selection. So now we're just left with this three. And we can put this kind of front and center. You'll see it's got this like gray box around it. All we have to do to get rid of that is double click in this gray area by the layer. And if you hold Option, you can separate this dial, which is blending the white tones of the layer. And just so we don't lose any quality on this layer, I'm gonna convert this for smart filters. And so there's our jersey number. We'll also add the Minnesota Windchill word mark. So I'm just dragging that in from my library and we'll use this just above the number going across the chest. And I kinda wanna make this all black. So let's go down to our effects, color overlay, we can use the same black or dark gray that's outlining the three, just to stay consistent with our colors. And we can shrink down this three. I'm gonna label it two, three, and just Command T, scaling it down, and we'll keep it centered. We can take these layers and drop them in our front of Jersey folder, just so we stay organized. And now I also wanna grab this tree texture or pattern from the bottom of the Jersey and we'll apply that to our basketball jersey as well. So again, with the rectangular marquee tool, M is the shortcut, just drawing out a box to take all of that, and then Command J to make it on its own layer. And then we'll line this up best we can with the bottom of the jersey. And then same thing as before, we can double click in this space and separate this white dial on the current layer, holding Option and clicking. And this is gonna allow us to blend in those white and gray parts. And you'll see it's currently going outside the lines of the jersey. That's just because we haven't dropped it in our front of jersey folder. But as soon as you move that layer in, it's now being cropped correctly. And we can do a similar treatment to the back of the jersey. So let's take the same trees layer. We can label it trees. Duplicate this to the back of the jersey. I'm just holding option and clicking on this layer and then dragging it down. That's gonna duplicate it. Now we can move the trees over to the back of Jersey as well. And same thing with the number, holding option, clicking and dragging. Got the number three, can make it a little bigger, maybe for the back, but I kinda wanna keep the bottom of the number in line. And we can move it over slightly just cause this isn't a perfectly straight on view of the back, like we have some side image as well. And then a player might have their name on the back of the jersey. So this one we're just gonna type out. I'm gonna make a new layer, T for my type tool. We can use, let's use the same dark gray color and we'll type out Vanuka and position it up there. I think the font that the winch will use is called a Reno Serif. Reno Serif, so something like this, we can blow it up. And then I think if we add one small wind chill icon up at the top, that'll look good. So let's bring in the wind chill logo, just from my libraries again, but we could take this from the jersey itself. And I'll just drag it up to the top to kind of complete this look. That's gonna do it for this example jersey mock-up. Took the wind chill, converted it from an ultimate jersey into a basketball jersey. Again, I think AI is a great resource to create your own mock-ups. And just know that it's not gonna spit out the perfect image of exactly what you want every time. You're gonna have to do some amount of tweaking in Photoshop, but using AI to generate the base image that you then create the mock-up on top of, this is a very effective way to present concepts.